My name is Brother Stephen Party, SVD, and I welcome you to our app, iGod Today. I hope you can share it with others and text us to know how we are doing. Today, the gospel starts out by saying that first, Jesus went up to the mountain to pray. In the morning, he called his disciples, of whom there were many. He brought them together, and of all of those assembled, he simply chose 12 whom he called apostles. Now, none of these 12 seemed to be outstanding, and all of them, every one of them, were flawed, including Peter, and of course, the only qualified person in the lot, Judas. This was the start of his movement, or what was to become his church. It was, and is, a divine institution, but it was entrusted to and built on ordinary human beings with all their faults and failings. And so it is today. There is the divine and there is the human. He continues to call we mortals to carry his message and has done so for over 2,000 years. Some succeed and some, unfortunately, fail and fail spectacularly. But that is how it has been from the beginning, spectacularly with the betrayal of one he personally chose. We must realize that despite the human failings of others, our job is to follow him and not him. We must not judge as that is up to the master himself, but also we must not, as the saying goes, throw the baby out with the bathwater. We are so blessed with what we have been given and we must hold on to that. A flawed individual, a flawed apostle, is not the church or its message. It behooves all of us to continue practicing. People profess they are practicing Catholics, stressing practicing. As Jesus said to Peter, when he asked about John's role, if I want him to remain until I come, does that concern you? You follow me. Amen.